Now we're going to repeat the heat test with an AMD processor. In this case, we have an AMD Athlon XP 1700 Plus, which really runs at 1466 megahertz. I have it installed in the socket 462 motherboard. I have it connected to the power supply and the hard drive for additional load. And um, let's see what uh, happens here. I'm going to take the initial temperature of the processor with the infrared thermometer. We're at uh, 80 degrees Fahrenheit, um, which is about room temperature here. I'm going to now power the system on now. Temperature is rising. Looks like it's going way up. As high as uh, four, 500 degrees, I saw. Five hundred and thirty six degrees. Okay. Well, I've we hit as high a t temperature as five hundred and thirty six degrees. I'm going to see if I can power the system off. I'm holding the power switch. And there, it has powered off. It doesn't smell very good. I'm afraid that this processor may not have survived that kind of temperature. We'll have to connect it up to a monitor and see if it actually still works. Well, at a temperature of over 500 degrees, it's clear to me that this processor has not survived the heat test. If, it does any, if this test does anything, it should give you the importance of installing a heat sink properly and making sure that it's properly attached and that it does not come off. If you power up many of the modern processors without a heat sink properly installed, you will destroy the processor as we've done here. I hope you allow our little test to educate you in what to do and what not to do with your processor.